Okay, someone just asked me what my favorite fragrance of all time is. Kind of rearranging my room and everything's a little dusty and out of place, but let's go over my fragrance collection. Over the last couple months, I've got rid of about half of my fragrances, so this is what I have left, but I want to talk about some of my favorites and some of my least favorites of my collection. And then I'll tell you my favorite of all time. So let's dive into it. So the first one that I want to talk about is from the Victoria's Secret fragrances because I talk about them a lot. And my favorite I wear the most often is the Very Sexy Now, which I don't think that they make anymore, which makes me sad. Another fragrance I wear pretty often is the Escada Flor del Sol. I love the way that this smells, especially in summertime. Next up in my collection that I love is is the Versace Nior. It's my favorite in the Versace line, and you can also pair it with the other Versace fragrances to switch it from day or night. My newest favorite is the Victoria's Secret Hardcore Rose. I also love this Moschino. It's a nice citrusy smell. I'm a fan of almost all Lancome fragrances. I think they smell nice and they're long lasting. Michael Kors Sexy Sunset is the only Michael Kors fragrance that I like. I love the way it smells, but I just don't reach for it that often. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but Coco Mademoiselle is one of my all time favorites. And I also love the Tiffany's fragrances. I tend to like fragrances that have a lot of musk in it and are more classic scents and long lasting. I love this Hermes fragrance. It's very different. Let's talk about fragrances I don't like. I don't like this Moschino, the bubble gum. I don't like this Too Faced fragrance. To me, it just smelled kind of cheap. I like this Victoria's Secret fragrance, but it wasn't long lasting and they've already discontinued it. Valentino is okay. Carolina Herrera's, they're okay. I thought they were overhyped. They're not one I ever reach for. The Pink Chanel Chance is another one that I think is overhyped. It's not my favorite from the Chance line. Again, I love Lancome fragrances. I was not a fan of this Prada fragrance. Christian Louis Vuitton fragrances, some of them are a hit, some of them are a miss. Again, they're not ones that I ever reach for though. This Moschino is okay. Then let's go over to these travel ones. I can't get it out, but this Gucci Guilty I really like. Juicy Couture fragrances, not my favorite. I have them, I'll wear them sometimes, but I know this isn't a popular opinion, but I love Chanel number no. five and I think it pairs so well with pairing it with other fragrances. But this Chanel Chance, the green Chanel Chance, you can look at this bottle and tell that me and this bottle have been through it because this is my favorite fragrance of all time. I love the green Chanel Chance. Not enough people talk about this one. It smells so good and I almost have wanted to gatekeep this fragrance from everybody. That's how much I love this fragrance. Definitely need to order a new bottle. Let's talk about some of my favorite fragrances of all time. My mom had this fragrance back in the day called Sun, Moon and Stars from Karl Lagerfeld and it smelled so good. I wanna purchase it just for the nostalgia. I loved Simply Vera. I love Hypnotic Poison. Again, I love Chanel number no. five. Hypnotic Poison and Chanel number no. five, so long lasting and smells so good to me. Of course, the green Chanel Chance and this Lancome. Got cut off before I could finish talking about this Lancome fragrance. It's so good at 10 out of 10. It's a sweet, summery, honeysuckle smell. I was introduced to this when working at Dillard's and I love it.